Good morning. My name is Mike Lawton and it's my privilege to bring you a reflection today from Christchurch. Just recently in our home group, we've been looking at how to hear the voice of God. Now, there are a number of ways of hearing the voice of God and the main one will be through the Bible and reading the Bible. But there are also other ways we may wake up having had a dream or we may have had a thought. Now, all of these ways need testing through the Bible. In the Bible, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. Now, we can say to the Lord, Lord, we are your sheep and we want to hear your voice. And I just want to point you in the direction of some of the ways of hearing the voice of God. First and foremost, we need to be based in the Bible and know the Bible. And it's essential that we read the Bible and anything that really strikes us and hits us about what God has said it's good to learn those things because they will come to mind at times and they may be useful to help other people. I'm going to give you an example. And what it does is, first of all, we need to spend about a minute on, on reflecting on where we're at and what is happening. And then taking a verse from the Bible and meditating upon that because it is the word of the Lord. And after that, responding to it, because God wants to speak to us, yes, but he wants us to be obedient to him. The verse I'm going to take to demonstrate this relates to when we are really concerned and worried about situations. And we can think about that situation, don't try and hide it. The Lord knows we are, but we can think about the things that are really disturbing us. And then from Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, we can just read this and meditate upon it for a minute. And it says this, come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And in this situation, I can say, well, Lord, that's me. I am burdened and heavy laden. God is saying, come to me. So I now say in response, Lord, I come to you. With all my burdens and the laden that I have. I wish to receive your rest. and just accept that. Now, it's a good one to have at the end of the day, in actual fact, because if you ever suffer from sleeplessness, it can definitely help because we can claim the Lord's rest in those times. And so just for three minutes, a minute to think about the issues and the problems, a minute to speak out the word of the Lord and to think about it and then to respond for the, to the verse and just rest in it. Now, there are other situations. There, there is one that is with regard to forgiveness. We may have something we need forgiving for. The word of the Lord is forgive as you have forgiven. Now, we can think about that, that God will forgive us as we have forgiven. And we may meditate upon it, but hold on, hold on. I haven't really been as forgiving as perhaps I should be. And I wish to receive forgiveness from the Father. And so as a result of that word from the Father, we can respond and we can say, Father, I forgive whoever or whatever the situation. And I wish to receive your forgiveness, followed 
indeed, having been forgiven by your peace. Indeed, there are others who we may be frightened. And there's a good one for that too. In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 5. Fear not, I am with you. And we can respond saying, Father, you command me to fear not. But I do have these fears. But I know that you're with me. Lord, let your presence really sink in so that I may live free from this fear. We may be tired and weary. Again, we have this verse from Isaiah chapter 41. And it is, take a pun, chapter 40, verse 31. They who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. And we can meditate upon that. And Lord, you can say, Lord, I am just waiting on you. I'm waiting on you now. Let your presence really sink in deep with me. And let my weariness be replaced by your strength. And let me mount up like eagles, Lord, soaring above all of these issues. There are also others that we can have. And I just want to name one or two. The Lord will always respond to how we are. Now we may want healing and we may want healing for a friend. But deep down, deep down, there's a little niggle about these things. Has God really said things like this? And you know who that's from. The best way around these things is to say, Lord, I believe. I believe in you. I believe you heal. And Lord, just as in biblical times, there was one person who said, Lord, I believe. Help thou my unbelief. I'm not hiding it from you, Lord. It's deep rooted. Take that, Lord, because I believe you are the Lord, that you came, you died for my sin and to restore a relationship with the Father. I believe that you are the Christ who did this. And I believe that you are working all the time interceding for us. And so Lord, you know what I'm praying and asking for in your mighty name. I'm asking for the healing of whatever it is, yourself, a friend, whatever. And Lord, do it according to your ministry. Let your Holy Spirit answer that and glorify you in this situation. I'm sorry, Lord, for the times when I've harbored unbelief. But Lord, restore that trust in you. And I ask that in your name, Lord. And so that's it. Now, there are many, many promises in the Bible that are the word of the Lord. And it's for us to find them. And a good thing is to learn them, repeat them, and let them come to mind when we have a need. We may have a need for money. He promises to provide all the riches in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We may have a need for, for healing. We may have a the need for a loved one to, to really have their eyes opened and we can pray for that. But I leave it with you that do not pretend to be different before our Lord. Say things as they are and find something in the scriptures that may speak to you or indeed a thought may come to you and that thought may be, I am always with you. It may be, I know, but nonetheless, if you feel that that is in accord with the scriptures, it's the voice of the Lord. I'll leave that with you. Shall we pray? Oh, Father, 
we are so wanting to hear your voice as jesus said my sheep hear my voice lord we are the sheep we are the followers of jesus lord and we are so grateful for that lord and so we look to you to restore our senses to hear from you lord and help us to find your word in the scriptures just let it resonate with us lord or if we have a dream let there, there be something lord that we can test and know it's of you and then once we know it's of you lord we will obey and we ask all these in the name of jesus amen I hope this will help you. There are many other promises in the Bible. It's an adventure for you to seek them out and apply them to yourself or for a friend that you know. God bless you.